Friends, we're on Proverbs 27, and one thing that I'm seeing in a number of verses here is, is that not everything is immediately apparent to us. We need discernment, we need spiritual wisdom, emotional intelligence in order to actually see what God would have us see in situations that are not just surface level clear to us. So here, here's what it says. Do not boast about tomorrow for you do not know what a day may bring. That's, that's spiritually wise. You know, to understand that the Lord has the future in his hands. We don't, we don't see that. Um, better is open rebuke, right? Than hidden love. But let's think about that. Open rebuke. See, are we willing to learn from that? Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but profuse are the kisses of an enemy. You can think about that. You know, someone may be just full of kisses, full of compliments, full of praise for you. But what you really may need to hear is a, something that stings a bit, but but a friend who actually cares about you and is willing to say what needs to be said because he actually cares. So we don't want to attack the person just for speaking the truth to us. Like a bird that strays from its nest is a man who strays from his home. I really love this one. This is, this is something worth thinking about, that God has given us a home. He's given us maybe even a marriage, a family, extended family, uh, even some friends that are a part of that whole picture, a life of worship together with others. That's, we've been given a life, and we need to attend to that. And sometimes what happens is we imagine some other life, and we think that we could chase after that other life. Do you see the danger there? And we neglect the one we have. Let's just say it again, like a bird that strays from its nest is a man who strays from his home. Now, let's develop this a little bit more. And at the end of the chapter, we get an, an extended picture here. Know well the condition of your flocks and give attention to your herds. See, not, not somebody else's, yours, your flocks, your animals. For riches do not last forever and does a crown endure to all generations? When the grass is gone and the new growth appears and the vegetation of the mountains is gathered, the lambs will provide your clothing and the goats the price of the field. There'll be enough goat's milk for your food, for the, the food of your household and maintenance for your girls. See, this is the good way. Pay attention to the home that you've been given, the animals, you know, that was part of the, the life of the, the, the people that are being written to here, pay attention to those. That, that could make a difference when everything else fails. You, you have those. But if we're always looking at something else, wow, we'll, we'll end up not paying attention to the things that we've been given, the life that we've been given. All right, so it says here that the prudent sees danger and hides himself, but the simple go on and suffer for it. You see, this same idea, just not seeing things the way that we need to. We just keep on moving along a road that's leading far away from home, far away from danger, not, not really the life we've been given. And, and it's, instead of being prudent and saying, hey, what's going on here? What's this enticing thing that's really not mine? You know, I'm covetous for it, right? Am I willing to live the life that I've been given even though it may involve some difficulty. So iron sharpens iron, and one man sharpens another. Okay, stick with it then. Yeah, As in water, face reflects face, so the heart of man reflects the man. We need the development of the heart and the life that we've been given by Almighty God. Let me tell you, Jesus had a life that he was given. It was a unique, very important life, central, central to our destiny, right? And he lived that life. He attended to it. In 
first of all, in the first 30 or so years, he lived in, in what seems to be obscurity, but living out the life of holiness within, within the family that he was given. He did that for us. And then he had his public life that was there, and he accomplished everything that his father gave him to do. And this was all for our salvation. It was so important that he lived that out with discernment and wisdom, and he did that. Thank you, Father, for, for your son. Help us to be imitators of him and to realize we've been given a particular life and to be grateful for it and live it with joy. In Jesus' name, amen. Blessings, friends.